Hello there everybody, my name is Coaster Child Doncaster Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be taking a look at the long term future of Colossus at Thought Park Resort. So I've got the site via Google Earth, I'm going to share with you some stats for the ride for those of you who are new to the channel and have no idea what Colossus is. I'm also going to share with you three potential coaster replacements and also share with you a timeline of where I think Colossus could be removed from the park. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in as well as your shout outs and video suggestions. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and this is of course for our subscriber Q&A for when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers. And for now guys, let's get into another Think Park Newsroom update. So for those of you who are new to the channel, let's give you some stats on the power of 10 Colossus at Thought Park Resort. So for those of you who need specifics, this is an Intamin multi-inversion coaster. It's a 10 inversion Rev A model. Uh, so for those of you uh, who are uh, unfamiliar with this type of coaster, there are two versions of the Rev A. There is the 10 inversion coaster at Chimlong Paradise uh, in China, in Guangdong, China, which opened on, in 2006, so two years after Colossus. Uh, and basically, for those of you who need the stats on this ride, it has a length of 2,788.7 feet. It also has a height of 98.4 feet, a speed of 44.7 uh, miles per hour, 10 inversions in a one minute two duration. Uh, it has a capacity of 1,300 riders per hour, uh, and it was also designed by Ing Burr Stengel GmbH, who are a coaster designer. So uh, very nice stuff for you there. So, Colossus very much is the coaster at Thought Park. It was the coaster that um, really made Thought Park a thrill park. So, for those of you who don't know where this is located, this is located in the Lost City section of the park. Uh, this replaced an old uh, playground called Trapper's Trail. Uh, so this was part of the old, you know, when Thought Park was a family park when it opened, when it first opened, and then up to around about 1999, 2000, uh, and then it changed its branding. It went into the the sensory overload stuff with the flat rides package in 2001 with Detonator replacing the, uh, you know, burnt down Wicked Witch's Haunt Dark Ride after the Thought Park fire. And I may actually do a separate video on the Thought Park fire for those of you who want to know more about that. Uh, they also brought in a temporary Enterprise, which made it permanent in 2001, uh, which was known as Zodiac. They brought in a temporary Enterprise for 2000 to add to their ride lineup after the fire. Uh, and then they decided to bring it in permanently, and they brought in Zodiac in 2001 in a new location. And as well as that, they also brought in Vortex, the KMG Afterburner for 2001. So three flight rides for 2001, however, the thrills didn't stop there. Mr. Trop Mr. Rabbit's Tropical Travels, which is a slow-moving boat ride, that was closed uh, around about this time, 2001-2002, uh, ready for uh, Nemesis Inferno in 2003. However, the Trapper's Trail Playground was demolished uh, in 2001, ready for construction to begin on their brand new roller coaster for 2002. This was Colossus at Thought Park Resort. First 10 looping roller coaster, Colossus. It never leaves you, Thorpe Park. Now, Colossus is a massive site. It has an incredible layout. And meanwhile, it may have its criticisms now. It was definitely uh, a revolutionary coaster when it first opened in 2002, of course. 2002, I mean, 2002 was a big year for roller coasters, wasn't it? Um, 2002 was a smart, not really a smart year, but. You know what I mean? It was very, it was a very interesting year for roller coasters, especially in uh, Europe for for the extreme coasters. Uh, it was very much a um, an exciting year. It was very much an exciting year for coasters. Uh, so it was definitely a revolutionary year for coasters as well. 
so in terms of your extreme coasters in Europe for the 2002 season, along with Colossus, uh, picking out some of the more regular ones, you've got uh, Bat Coaster, which was now relocated at Negloland. Uh, you've also got Batman Arkham Express, uh, Coaster Express, uh, Stuntfall and Superman La Attraction de Acero at Parque Vaughan in Madrid. You've got Silver Star at Europa Park, Rock and Roller Coaster at Disneyland. Uh, you've got Goliath at Wolby Holland. You've got Air at Alton Towers and of course Colossus uh, at Thorpe Park. So very recognisable roller coasters. Now, obviously, um, of the future of that site is into question. So we're going to be talking about three coaster types that I could see replace Colossus in the long term future. So starting off with option one, and I've gone with a B&M dive coaster. Now Thorpe Park apparently have wanted to add a B&M dive coaster for a while. Now I did see this on a cancelled Thorpe Park project talk about a dive coaster. I'm not sure exactly what was said, um, but there, were, there was talk of a dive coaster. Um, however, I think they could resurge those plans and I th uh, those rumored plans, and I think they could add a dive coaster in the Colossus site. Now, they can completely redo that whole section of Lost City, and I think that they could, you know, rebuild and repair some of the theming. And I think that this particular coaster could be a very welcome fit for the park. Now, obviously, it would be a different layout to seeing Colossus in 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 that particular area um, you look at the where the airtime hills going into the cobra rolls and out of the cobra rolls and then into the corkscrew at the end of that cobra roll um, like the little duck down under the tunnel um, that's a pretty neat you know ele that's a, well, it's a pretty neat way of potentially doing a dive coaster drop and I think you could, you know, you could literally go the same way as Colossus went in terms of the, the lift hill. And you could really, you know, just just go for it. Just literally do a nice lift hill out of where Corkscrew's lift hill is. Turn it around where the first drop is. And you could literally do a nice uh, drop underneath the pathway. You could even do a loop over the pathway. You could do the world's tallest dive coaster loop. So you could break some records with this coaster. And like I said with the theming... Um, obviously, it's been jet washed over this past closed season, but I think you could rebuild some of that theming, and I think you could make the tunnel look really, really nice. And I think they could give this a nice uh, Lost City themed story. Unless she wants to, you know, retheme the area in some way. Maybe not a large way, give it a whole new theme, but maybe keep the Lost City name and just bring in a new story to the area. Just to give the area a new lease of life with the new coaster. So I think that that's a really neat way of potentially uh, using that site to its advantage. Moving in then to our next coaster type. And my next coaster type for this is an RMC Extended Raptor Coaster. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Capacity. I, I know, right? But this is my plan. What if you had... A, the world's tallest, longest, fastest, most inverting single rail coaster. But the trains and the Raptor track were bigger. So this is what I mean by an extended Raptor coaster. This would be an extension to the Raptor coaster. And it would be the biggest version of the Raptor coaster. So you'd have more capacity, like a normal coaster would. You look at Colossus, you've got like, what, 10 cars per train? Um, and it's two people per train. Uh, I think you could... Um, do a real or well, four people per train technically but two on each row but i think you could do a nice two people per car and then do a row you know a row each with two people so i think you could really make a nice raptor train here now whether that means four people per car and each train uh or you do two people on a row then two people in the next row then two on the next row and two 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 two, two uh that kind of thing um, I think that would be nice. It would be brilliant if you could have the world's first 10 inverting Raptor coaster, which would be nice. I think that would be a, a great way to honour the memory of Colossus, but also think of the future of roller coasters. Uh, so it's a very neat way of, you know, paying homage to Colossus, but also moving forward in the next generation with the uh, with the Raptor coaster track. And like I said, with the Raptor coaster track, make it bigger, make, make bigger single rails so you could pack the more cars in and you could pack in more elements. So I think that there's a real potential here that RMC could bulk up their Raptor and just times it by 10. Uh, I think there's a real opportunity to do that before they even think about adding a T-Rex. So, um... 
I think it's better. It's, it's nice that they're bulking up the Raptors to, to as much as they can before they start selling T-Rexes. And I think that this is another neat way of bulking up the Raptor. The final coaster then in our uh, list is a Bulgar and Mabillard flying coaster. Now, I know what you're thinking. Some people have the critics. Some people uh, may not. However, I think if you work it round to where... Um, or near down to where Saw is and I think that you could um, really work it round and maybe replace some uh, nearby like little nearby attractions I think you could have a pretty neat layout and I think you could have a neat layout going around the rest of Lost City I think you could even um, stretch it out even further so it stretches over a different part of the park as well uh, so I think that there's real potential with a B&M flyer it's very very less likely in my opinion but I think you could have a decent layout. Now, whether it be launched, whether it be a lift hill like a normal flying coaster would, uh, I don't mind. But I think there's real potential for that. But like I said, I don't really see a flying coaster as the most predictable option. I would rather go with the, the dive or the extended Raptor. Uh, so there we go. So that is my three options. Fly is like a bonus option if you want to you know, make it more creative. But I think for the sites available, I would go with the Extended Raptor with the 10 inversions, pay homage to Colossus, or I'd go with the B&M Dive and just bulk up that theming again and, you know, really give a new lease of life to that area. So I can't really choose between the two to be fair because they're both good in their own way and they're both unique in their own way. So comment down below what you guys think should replace Colossus. Now the timeline. I see Colossus closing between, and I'm going to do every five years here, I'm gonna close. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna guess it's gonna close between 2030 and 2035. I think that's my sort of estimate here. I think we've got another 10 years left of Colossus. So, you know, obviously in, in 2022 it will be 20 years old. So that'll be a. Hopefully the part will do some nice celebrations for Colossus. Um, and it should be very nice. It should be interesting. So I think between 2030 and 2035 maybe. Uh, because I think technology will have moved on a whole heck of a lot by that point. So I think that's what we're looking at here. So there we go. So thank you very much guys for watching this video on the long term future of Colossus at Thought Park. I do plan to do these for other rides as well in the UK, in Europe, in America, all these other rides. So thank you very much guys. My name is Coach Chow. Please like, comment, subscribe. Could have case more seen in this YouTube video. Keep getting any questions. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. Make sure you subscribe to my second channel for football and basketball content. Links in the description down below for that. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chow. Kill on the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a awesome day.